is an important day <laughs> because we're going to talk about something that I think is important to talk about for me anyways at the age that I am and Bruce is very very interested in this topic right we are going to talk about aging specifically aging in your 30s because I feel like that's the only uh, reference I can really <laughs> talk about talk about wrinkles. What do you think about wrinkles? And just all the other stuff that comes with aging that I think you start to notice when you get to your 30s. Bruce is technically your four right now. Or is he 28? You're not even in your 30s. You got lots of time to get your 30s. Anyway, say goodbye Bruce. Goodbye. So today I want to talk about aging because I notice with my friend groups, with family members, with coworkers, with society as a whole, age becomes quite a topic and also anti-aging and it's inundated into every aspect of our lives. The marketing definitely is geared towards women and Younger and younger women, it seems, with every decade that passes. I can tell you that when I was in my 20s, I wasn't already thinking about Botox and preventative aging stuff. It wasn't generally, I feel, for most people, until you get to your mid to later 30s, 40s, that you start worrying a little bit about how old you look. I will say this. Um, for most of my 20s, I was ID'd. And I've come across younger than I am for a lot of my life because I'm a very short person and I think I'm a little more alternative than the average person in terms of appearance so sometimes I don't know if that adds to it or not these days I think everybody's a little alternative which is great so I don't get ID'd anymore when I go to the liquor store or the bar <laughs> so that kind of sits with you in a different way once uh, that just stops happening completely. So to start, let's just talk about, I'll just talk about what I'm going through right now as someone who's 36 years old when I make this video. I definitely noticed in my 30s to like mid 30s, like 32, 33, that my skin was changing on my face, body was changing, metabolism maybe was slowing down a bit more. And, you know, things just start to change, which is completely normal and happens to everybody. But as an individual, it feels you can just see these changes happening and there could be sometimes a sense of fear or worry because of these are things that are out of your control. Maybe you don't like the changes that are happening. But the important thing to think about is that why are you afraid of what's happening or why are you worried or why are you preoccupied or hyper focused on things like this and the answer generally is not because it's something that you truly care about most of the time the answer is because it's what you've been told through society through different marketing for different products because of capitalism self-loathing is a business that drives consumerism if we all love ourselves, we don't have the need to buy things like skin creams and clothing and hair products and whatever else is out there, workout programs, etc. So the idea is that if we hate ourselves or we think we're not good enough or there's room for improvement or we need to stop things from happening that are completely natural and we need this cream to do it and that treatment to do it, etc. That's how everybody makes money off of us. I wanted to make this video because I just wanted there to be something out there for people that isn't about how to stop yourself from aging, what skincare routine you should be doing, what diet you should be having, what what treatments and modifications and surgeries and enhancements you should be planning for. And instead 
talk more about how we can just embrace what's going on and have gratitude in the end for the fact that we're still alive. I know I'm only 36, which I do consider to still be young, a young person, but I'm hoping that when I'm 46, 56, I still want to feel the same way. I'm just like you. I go through life, I see the posters, I see the commercials, I see the ads, I see, you know, the superstars and celebrities and music artists that look amazing and then they tell their secrets or they, they post an ad for something. I just remember a few years ago when I was in LA for an event and I was hanging out with a bunch of people in LA and they were all talking about preventative Botox. And these are people that were in their 20s and I was already in my 30s. I'd never heard of preventative Botox. I had assumed Botox was for older people just trying to make their skin look younger, their faces younger. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this something that I'm supposed to be doing? Did I miss the boat on this? And it was, I honestly felt almost sheer panic. And the more I looked into it, the more I saw all these people, all these women specifically, getting all these treatments, spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to prevent your skin from aging naturally 10 years from now. And it's like, but why are you doing that? Why are we trying to prevent something that's absolutely inevitable? Part of the human experience is aging. And unfortunately, in the parts of the world where I've lived, it's considered to be something shameful, something unattractive, something that you want to avoid at all costs for as long as you possibly can. I'm just going to do another call out here, but I am really sick and tired of seeing all these posts of celebrities like J-Lo where it says something along the lines of, look at J-Lo at 52 years old, look at this person at 52 years old, look at this person at 60 years old. And we're supposed to compare ourselves to that or we're supposed to aspire to that. And all that that is asking us to aspire to is the, our image. It's not about being a good person. It's not about making deep connections with people. It's not about changing lives. It's not about living a fulfilled and happy life. It's not about pursuing your passions. It's not about laughing and enjoying your time on earth. It's about looking good. And generally, I'm going to tell you this for me, in my own experience, the course of looking good requires a lot of misery along the way. And you don't even enjoy when you look good because you're either starving, overworked, highly stressed, and probably pretty broke because not all of us have millions of dollars to spend on all these crazy treatments and skincare products and trainers and things that you're supposed to have so that you can look like JLo at 52 years old. There's definitely times when I catch myself, my reflection in a mirror or in a window when I'm walking by or in a photograph and I think, Oh, I look older. <laughs> Not old. I just look older. And then I remind myself, oh yeah, that's because you're older. You're not 18. You're not 25. You're 36. And when I catch myself thinking, oh, I wish I had that 22-year-old body, or I wish I was 15 again and carefree, but when I really think about it, most of those times, I was not very happy. I was struggling with my self-image then. I was preoccupied with other things about trying to be skinnier or have shinier hair and have perfect makeup or whatever. And the reality is, is there's no time like the present to accept your body, accept yourself, and accept life as it is. Life isn't about looking good. It's just not. And unfortunately, we live in such a culture where that's kind of fed to us all the time. So you kind of unwillingly or unknowingly get sucked into that belief system. And it sucks. It sucks. I want to enjoy my life. I want to laugh. I want to eat good food. I want to spend my money on things like traveling or saving it for my future or activities that I want to do. I don't want to spend it on face treatments and, and wrinkle creams and laser treatments and collagen and all this stuff. I mean, okay, so I'll be honest with you. There are some things that I do do as a woman of my age.
reaching out that I think a lot of us do. I do have serums and a retinol cream and things like that, which I will, I did share in another video, so I'll tag that here. But I'm not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on special magical creams either. I'm just trying to get the all natural, like vitamin C serum. But my focus more, instead of being anti aging, because that's just gonna happen, I think for my mental health and for my ability to enjoy my life in the next 10, 15, 20 years, is to be more focused on doing the self work required to embrace aging and not be afraid of it and be thankful for it and have gratitude for it and then a way that I am doing that now is that I journal and I've made a whole video about that as well so I'll link that here and I have gratitude journals and I spend time just thinking of all of the things in my life every year that I've lived all the experiences that I have that have led me to be the human being that I am today and have gratitude for that and be thankful for that and every birthday that I have every year that comes around just be thankful that I'm still here I'm able to celebrate that my friends and family are here that I can celebrate with them and as cheesy as it sounds it's not cheesy because that's actually what life is about it's not about all that other stuff something else that's really helped me with this mindset is being more cognizant of the people I surround myself with. It's super easy to fall into groups and crowds of people that um, have a certain belief and then you find yourself kind of getting sucked into it. I see it all the time, even just in my friend groups I have now with different like smaller topics that you, you hear this point of view, that point of view, and then suddenly you're like, oh, should I be worrying about this? Is this something I should be doing? But overall, I try and surround myself with people in my life that are not fixated on those things, that are more fixated on the things that I align with, which is enjoying life, being grateful, and having adventure, and pursuing passions, and spending time, and making memories, and being excited about the future rather than fearful of it. So I don't know who needs to hear this today, but I just wanted to say it, and hopefully it reaches the, the ears of people that need to hear it, that you are absolutely perfect the way you are and with age comes wisdom and with wisdom comes gratitude and joy and happiness in life and life is about the connections I think if anything has taught us over the last couple of years it's that relationships connections experiences those are the things that matter in life and so if we focus more on that then the other stuff isn't going to be as scary of course I want you to take care of yourself, but taking care of yourself means loving yourself as you are in this very moment because this is all we've got. The future isn't guaranteed, the present is a gift, I don't care if it's cheesy, it's the truth and that's, and that's it. So thank you so much for listening. If you agree, please let me know, comment below. Um, I do plan to make a video about struggling with today's age of social media and Photoshop and filters and all that sort of thing. But if you have any, anything else you want me to cover, please let me know. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful life.